Yo, what's up guys? It's Replay, back at it with another video. And today we are going to show you the best money running technique that I personally use to get my money um, for beginner players. So without further ado, we're going to hop straight into a reserve run. We are going to do our run offline just so I can show you guys where everything spawns and you know how everything is arranged in a sort of manner so you can tell if someone has either hit hit that spot or if there is somebody already in there so we are going to just wait while you know it loads but this is going to be a very short video almost a tutorial i'm going to show you the best areas for even the worst spawns in future videos and if you guys would like me to do some runs online, I mean, I'll feel free and do them. I will do as many runs as possible. If you guys want to see that, leave it in the comments, leave a thumbs up, and hit the subscribe button for more. And also, make sure to turn on that notification button for future updates and future videos. So, as we're loading in here, we're creating loot pools. Um... You always want to kind of hope you don't get the worst spawn, but like any spawn can make up for any type of loot, right? So even the worst of spawns, you can still get pretty decent loot as long as you hit a, a certain certain few areas. I'm going to show you. Okay, so looks like we spawn in a pretty good area. So whenever you're at dome, you always want to come up here. Open this door, run up these staircases, run outside, and go directly to here. That door always spawns closed. This door right here always spawns closed. Freaking lightning. This door always spawns closed, but it has some pretty good loot. You got some filing cabinets over here for, for some office stuff. You got a safe right here for some money, bitcoins, or GP coins. You have a weapon cabinet right here to spawn a weapon, and you got parts on right there. This door you need a key for, not the best room. I mean, it's a pretty good room, but for a key, it's not very good. So what you want to do, there's a uh, duffel bag right here that spawns pretty good loot. Right over here, they... right over here is a folder of intelligence spawn right there on that table. Nothing over here. This looks like a folder of intelligence, but trust me, it's not. And there's really nothing in that room over there, so what we're going to do... We're gonna run up these stairs. This door spawns closed. Run in here. Some ammo and some uh, gun mags and stuff like that. You got a green box for some uh, weapon parts. This has a spawn of some few things. If, some, some occasional heals. Here is some me mechanic stuff. Over here is a folder of intelligence spawn. Right here is a duffel bag. And out here is some, you know... Some, some like other random spawns up there. You can camp if you really want to, but don't, don't be that guy. Alright, as we run down here, we want to run outside. Uh, yeah. So, this is really the last place you want to go if you get a spawn over in that general direction. Or that general direction. You really always want to hit White Pond, which I'll show you either in a future video or in the next raid. I'm going to try to do two raids, but not show you guys everything. This is like one of the last spots you want to hit, and one of the last spots that you want to cover. Don't fall through that hole. I've done it before. Run all the way down. all the way down nothing spawns over there it's of value nothing spawns in there is a green box some fuel can spawn over here and here you are right in here is where the money happens okay so you can get some uh, um, mechanical parts up in here aces graphics cards stuff like that up in here you have a safe right here which we're gonna loot see if what we get we're in offline mode so everything is like worse Look, gold chain and money. Saves are really good for money, bitcoins, and gold chains. And now I'm going to show you guys. There are a couple of those uh, 
toolboxes around. But we're not gonna hit them because we don't need them. Right over here is a folder of intelligence spawn on this table. You wanna run up here. Go over here, open this door. This is an openable door. You can come up over here. Lay down right here and you can loot this duffel bag in the back. There's probably going to be nothing good in here right now, but good stuff spawns in duffel bags. Trust me, I found I found several things. I found bitcoins, GP coins. I found a lot of good shit. So between here is some, uh, some good stuff. Like on this green thing spawns electrical stuff, graphics card stuff like that. Um, I've never found anything good in here, but right here is a blue jacket, and if anybody in, in the comments knows that blue jackets are the best kind of jackets, because they spawn better keys. Right here is a duffel bag that we're going to check to see what, what we get, if anything good. Nothing really. And then we're done in here. Don't need anything else. Then we'll, uh, this door spawns closed, that door spawns closed. This door spawns open. Right in here, you'll find a bunch of uh, industrial stuff. You'll find like um, fuel, water filters. Like right there's a water filter underground. You'll find you'll you can find a bunch of good stuff that's worth a little bit of money. Run over here. This door spawns closed. Run up up through here. Out this way. And right here is White Pond. This is a good. A pretty good uh, building to loot if you have the time to do it. Nothing really, nothing really good spawns in here. So maybe uh, some machinery parts. That's, that's about it. Some light bulbs, stuff like that. In here, right on this table is a money spawn. Right over here is some ammo. Some more ammo. On here spawns food and ammo. Food on this table. And here are two more duffel bags with some food on this uh, locker. After you hit that. You can go upstairs or vice versa. Go all the way to the third floor. This door spawns closed. And you wanna run out here and on this green spot right here, we'll spawn pretty, pretty high tier loot. And here we got ammo up here. We got some gun parts over here. We got a grenade box over here. We got some jackets. That'll spawn keys and uh, other things like cigarettes if you're trying to do that quest. Some painkillers. Right here, we got ammo. We get two crates right here. These are just wooden crates. They spawn uh, industrial stuff, so it's military stuff. Then you want to run all the way down here. And what I like to do is I like to hit this floor right here. This bag is a pretty good bag. I found a graphics card in this bag. That's why I check all bags. You always want to check the bags. There's some sugar, that's 50k. Then you wanna run out, uh, run out the front door. I'm, this For this video, this isn't my you know, particular run because I don't really spawn in dome, but I'm just gonna show you spawns. So you can pick any of these places to go. Right in here, right in this blue crate is a folder of intelligence. You have a gun box right here, a gun box right there. You have a gun box right here and a blue coat right here. Next thing, I'm gonna do drop down arrow last because that is a semi decent room. Up here, we got weapon spawn, uh, weapon part spawns. We have a gun spawn right here, weapon box right here you can spawn a gun or some weapon parts. Right down in here, we have a rare spawn right here you can spawn. Pro kill, it can spawn medallions, it can spawn, um, it will spawn BP, uh, GP coins and bitcoins. So then after you get out of here, be careful. This is a scab spot. One of the first buildings I loot on a run. Queen, white queen. This building is one of the best buildings to loot. Right in here, in these server rooms, you can find graphics cards, all types of goodies on top of these, um, on top of these, like, little, uh, little server, server racks. Right here is a hidden spot. Look, MGT right there, it's 40 to 50k. Right in here, 
check these servers nothing good nothing good you will most likely find something good in your online raids but right here is a military spawn you can spawn the transmitter right down here is a folder of intelligence spawn right there on the desk uh some chlorine right there you don't really need that then what i do is i run all the way through here and I make and I check it, make sure there's nobody in there. When we're offline, we don't need to. Uh, on these servers, a lot can spawn. I a lot. We got PSUs. We got look at that. That right there. I wish I could find this. This right here is 100k. That is a military transmitter. Uh, stuff does spawn on these uh these shelves, but we're gonna skip by that because nothing. Look right there. There's an MCB. Uh, working LCD and then that's everything in Queen Now the next building I want to cover and the last building that I want to cover is um, Drop down Drop down has a lot and I mean a lot, but it gets really contested really fast You can go up the staircase or many people don't know this I for sure didn't know it when I first saw it you can go up this little uh, broken down sign to get in there fast. You just want to jump and run up the side of the sign. Jump up here. Run up in here. Here's a gun if you want to fire it a couple times. Some people do that. And here we are. Alright, I'm going to start you guys off at the very end of the hallway because some of these rooms are actually pretty nuts. Um, this room does not spawn anything. Here's a gun case. Nothing really too valuable. This room, same thing. Nothing really too that valuable. So maybe some stuff can spawn on these couches. Here's a PC if you really need. If you're really looking for PCs. Nobody's really looking for PCs. Right in here. Military stuff and other electronic stuff spawns here. Look at this. The transmitter right there. That is a free 100k and you haven't even got down to the best room yet. Uh, you want to run down and take a right and go straight in this room in the back right here Here's another military transmitter That's another 100k uh, This room right here military circuit board A lot of good stuff spawns over here and here is drop down you want to jump through Here let me show you that again you want to go into the room and go to the far right building or far right uh, far right window there's nothing really good in here. Here's Iridium. Oh, I guess that's pretty good, but Then you want to jump in come down here, and this is a good room. This is a really good room You need a key to get in this room But they the developers made it so where you can jump into the room without even having a key. We got two PCs. We got uh, a bag uh, We got so what spawns on these shelves that didn't spawn now we got Tetris's and um Graphics cards, right? All kinds of goodies. And then you jump out. Don't break your leg. And then uh, you can run to extraction. And really do whatever else. But uh, for now, that is everything that I've covered. I've covered dome, white pond, the helicopter, uh, crawl space. I've covered queen and drop down. There's really nothing in Black Pawn, and there's really nothing in these, like, um, bishops. But, yeah, that's a, that's about it. Um, there's really nothing else in this, you know, map that you can really get that's a lot, that's worth actually doing money runs for. And, um, yeah, that's about it for the video. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a comment, smash that thumbs up. Uh, turn on the post notifications for more and upcoming videos. And make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you guys really want me to, you know, me do a, uh, an online raid, just ask in the comment section below. Remember, this is for new users. I want to help out the newer players in the community because no one, everybody hates being stuck using slick armor, level class, like class six armor as a level one and just dies with it. Like nobody wants that. So make sure to leave a follow, thumbs up, whatever you got to do. And I'll, uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Uh, yeah. Peace out.